The essential is invisible to the eyes, wrote French aviator and poet Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. But what is invisible can become visible thanks to the magic of infrared radiation. Our eyes can only see a tiny fraction of electromagnetic radiation, the tiny window that gets through our atmosphere. Infrared is the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that, as its name indicates, is beyond red. With infrared radiation, we can not only explore an invisible window, which is of course important in astronomy, but we can also look at the birth of some celestial bodies and detect more of their energy emissions. A dedicated climber used to altitudes of over 5,000 meters, Professor Giovanni Bignami is an expert in astral electromagnetics. He's president of the European Space Agency's Scientific Programs Council and heads the Space Astrophysics Laboratory in Toulouse, France. He's a scientist and also a bit of an actor, as he can happily incarnate a sort of latter-day Galilei. Just then I, I couldn't see you. I must not be seen. We've wanted to conduct infrared astronomy for a long time, but it's very difficult from the Earth. The water vapor in the atmosphere prevents this. This is why infrared telescopes have to be in satellites. In 1995, ESA took a giant step in far space astronomy with the launch of ISO, the Infrared Space Observatory. Its two-year mission provided scientists with a rich seam of data. Encouraged by these results, ESA has designed another mission, as Europe pursues one of the few areas of scientific research where it truly leads the world, remote space sensing. Tests are in their final phase, and a new space telescope is coming together, after Hubble, Herschel. Herschel goes into orbit in a year and a half and it will be a real revolution. Its mirror is much larger than any before and it will be so sensitive it will have the potential to penetrate into the heart of the unknown. It will probe a range of previously unexplored frequencies which makes it a unique scientific experiment. Tutta la differenza come missione scientifica. Only the water flowing through the great Canal du Midi near Toulouse is slow moving. Inside the nearby giant hangars of Interspace, it's a hive of activity. The clean room is used by EADS and Astrium engineers, directing the Herschel project and conducting the mechanical tests on the giant telescope. The smallest speck of dust here could be disastrous. Yves Toulemont heads Eads Astrium's Herschel project and explains why cleanliness is so important. We have to stop as much particle contamination as possible, as dust can attach itself to the optical surfaces and diffuse the light. Molecular contamination also has to be eliminated as much as possible, as it can be deposited through condensation on the mirror by reaction to outer space radiation. It's not just a mirror we're talking about, more like a piece of precision Swiss watchmaking, covering a ceramic-based tool to a tolerance of one micron. All of Europe's world-leading skills in lightweight resistant ceramics have been integrated into its construction. Hubble had a primary mirror 2 meters 40 across, weighing 1.5 tons. Ours is 3 meters 50, but only weighs 350 kilos. The ceramic base for the mirror is extremely mechanically and thermally resistant. It's made from silicium carbon, a complex material allowing a maximum thickness of 4 millimeters, and coated with a perfectly reflecting aluminium layer barely 0.3 microns thick. Today, Herschel is the world's largest space telescope, set for launch in 2007. It'll be put into orbit and positioned at what we call Lagrange point number 2, one and a half million kilometers from the Earth. It's a special astral point where a satellite can remain stable in relation to the Earth and the Sun, aligned with both. 
It will be protected by a heat shield from radiation from both bodies. The heat shield will also be a solar panel providing energy. To avoid being blinded by the other extreme low temperature infrared waves, the telescope and its scientific instruments will be super cool to minus 270 degrees centigrade. Space will keep the mirror cool by itself. Liquid helium will be used by the rest. The whole setup weighs three tons. Heschel can look for specific things like the vibrations transmitted by molecules such as water or other more complex elements like organic molecules. They're not in themselves proof of life, but in reality, they're elements at the origins of life. These objectives will help us to better understand the chemistry of our galaxy or the formation of stars and their development. It's a three or four year adventure with blast off set for the end of 2007.